the days of crappy audio are finally over with this particular AI. However, there is a caveat. I chance upon this AI system and I'm sure that all microphone manufacturers in this world are not going to be very happy with what this AI has to offer because it's simply an amazing tool that Adobe has actually introduced into the market. I've come here today to put this to the most extreme form of test. As you can see, I'm around the shore. Maybe for you to grasp the full rigor of whatever that is going on here, if I take this off right now, can you hear the sound? That totally obliterates the quality of sound that you hear from me. However, just by going to this particular site and just uploading my audio there, just by moving this button, listen. We have completely gotten rid of all these wind sounds that you're hearing and just listen to how clean my audio is. Now, to take this a notch higher, this is how my voice sounds currently coming out because I'm actually filming this video right now with my Samsung mobile phone. And as you can hear, the sound is totally really bad and you can hear all the surroundings, people speaking around and the wind. In fact, everything is kind of gushing into the microphone. However, maybe let's try this extreme test. Let's upload this and just turn on this button and this is how the audio kind of sounds like. Now, you guys are the first people to hear this because as at the moment or at the time of recording this video, I have no idea if this test is actually working out or not. Let's switch back to this microphone. So you can actually see the main differences over here. Now, maybe let me try getting closer, um, even though you can't see my face. So let's try this and see. Hello. Um, yeah, as you can hear, that is exactly the voice quality. At the end of the day, um, what still matters is that it's still very important that you follow all the major rules of recording audio. And if you really don't know all the major rules that comes with recording audio, I have a video here. You can click up here to watch that particular video and you will get all the tips as to how to effectively capture audio on set. And one of those secret spoiler alert is the fact that you need to always constantly get closer to your sound device. So even though my voice might be sounding very well from this particular microphone, even this microphone at a very long distance, it becomes very problematic for the sound system to be able to pick my voice at a constant pitch. But with this AI, it even tries, for example, let me put this very far away or try to extend my hand. It tries to still equalize the voice so that everything is kind of like picking at a particular level. So regardless of the distance between the microphone and your subject, it tries to keep everything at a very leveled field so that you can continue to hear it regardless of the distance between your subject and the recording device. So head on to this particular website and use it and tell me what you think in the comment section below. Over here, I like to do crazy experiment like this. I don't know whether this worked or not. I don't know if this video was worth it, but if you did get a ton of information out of this video, I do much appreciate it. If you do click on the like button, please make sure to do click on the subscribe button. Because over here, we do talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. If all this sounds interesting, I do much appreciate it. If you do click on the subscribe button, please make sure to do turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime I drop awesome content like this on the Africa Amaze channel. You can clearly think about the full potential of what this AI systems kind of bring to the table. And I'm sure that most microphone manufacturing companies are certainly not going to be happy with this. So try it out and let me know. Maybe you can tag me on Instagram at OBL underscore junior and I will definitely have a look at whatever that you have done with this particular AI. Because the days of crappy audio are finally over with this particular AI. However, there is a caveat. Uh, at the end of the day, most of these AI tools are still new and they are very young in terms of their development. So what I would say is that some cases, it has introduced some form of very strange artifacts into the audio that I really am not aware of. And sometimes most of them were not even recorded on set, but it introduces this strange kind of artifacts into the whole system. So even if you want to use it, like I've already stated, please make sure that you are still following all the basic rules that you need to follow to capture quality audio on set. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, I would catch you in the next one. Until next time, as always, guys, keep practicing, feel making. Peace out.